Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the blinker keybinds in mesh vehicles. Um, so you instead of clicking Z and C, you can click E and Q. If you want to change it to J and K or change it to whatever you want, you can do that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open up Roblox Studio. Once you have Roblox Studio opened, make sure you look on the left here and in the blue tabs, you're on My Games. And then make sure you're in My Games, not Group Games, or Shared With Me. So go ahead and open up the place that you're going to be working on. Once you have this place open, you're going to want to make sure you have Explore, Properties, and Toolbox open. If you do not have one of these open, go into the tabs, click View. Click Toolbox, Properties, and Explore. Whatever ones that you don't have open, click on one of these. Okay, you can go back to home. Alright, once you're back to home, you can go ahead and get that vehicle that you are going to be working on. So I'm going to grab a random Roblox vehicle here. Uh, actually, I'm going to grab one from my inventory that I use. Um, I'm going to change the blinker keybinds to E and to Q. So you guys can go ahead and... Uh, Add your vehicle in, or if you already have your vehicle in, we'll proceed from there. Um, there's no models in the uh, description of the video, as we will not uh, need any extra models. Alright, so go ahead, go into Toolbox, click Inventory, make sure you're in My Models, or go make sure you're in Group Models, depending on where you're grabbing the model from. I'm going to be using My Models, because that's where I'll be grabbing the model from. Alright, so next thing next is we're going to grab the vehicle that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be using this vehicle right here. It's going to be a Impala, a 2003 red Impala. And I'm going to be changing the blinkers right here and right here and right here and right there. Instead of clicking C and Z, I'm going to be clicking Q and E. So, I'm going to go ahead and place a spawn, and I'm going to show you that this is only at C and Z right now, and I can't do it with E and Q, Q and E. Alright, so I've loaded into Roblox Studio here, so we're going to go ahead and move over to the car. Going to hop in. Alright, I'm going to be click, I'm going to click E. Nothing happens. I'm going, let me turn off the lights first by clicking J. I'm going to click E. Nothing happens. I'm going to click Q. Nothing happens. Okay, now I'm going to click Z. And as you can see, the blinker turns on there. I'm going to click it again. And the blinker turns off. And click C. Blinker turns on. Click off. Turns off. All right. So there you go. That's proof that it works. So after you've seen that, we're going to go ahead and stop the studio uh, studio test. You're going to click on the vehicle, you're going to go into Explore, and you're going to go into Workspace, and then open up the vehicle that you have. Go into A Chassis, I can't even pronounce that name, Tune, Open. click that, and then open Plugins, and then find the Light Add-on script, and double click that. Once you have that opened, you'll see on line 15, there is a key code, that thing, key code, and Z. That's the current key code. Um, so if you want to change that to, you can change that to whatever letter. So Z is going to be the left turn blinker. So we're going to go ahead and make Q the left turn blinker. I'm just going to put that note in there for you guys. And then obviously you can see toggle left blank. That's what it is, Q. So Q, instead of Z, it's going to be Q for left. And then for right, we're going to change from C, excuse me, from C, Charlie, we're going to ch change from C to E. And this is going to be your right, right turn blinker. Okay. So on line 17, you have your right turn blinker. And on line 15, you have your left turn blinker. So we'll go ahead and close out the script at the top. 
and we're going to go ahead and test and open up Roblox Studio Test. Alright, now that we're in the game, we're going to go ahead and head over to the car. Turn, turn off the lights, lights by clicking J. And, and we're, we're going, going to go ahead and test C. Nothing happens. We're going to test Z. Nothing happens. Now if we test E, that should be the right blinker. There you go. And if we test Q, that should be the left blinker. There we go. So it does work, and that's everything. So I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I just got monetized, so I'm super happy. I'm making a little bit of money, extra money from YouTube. Oh, excuse me. That was annoying. Uh, that was one of the sirens for this vehicle. If you have any, uh, if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like the video, and don't be afraid to comment. I love reading your comments. I read every single one of them. I try to respond to every one of them, but I don't always get to respond to all of them because some of them just simply don't make sense. So, if you guys want to see more videos, go ahead, comment down below. Um, make sure to... I, I post something called a post. I post a lot of those, so we're, when, when you're on your phone, you can, like, scroll through all those videos. Um, I post a lot of surveys and stuff like that every day. I try to. So... Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like and comment on the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.